Alright guys, so to get started, I'm going to be buffing out my nails and this will buff out any buildup, oil, or any residue that I did not get off when I soaked my nails off. Because I know I wanted to achieve a coffin shape, I went in with these stiletto tips and I find these to be easier for me to cut and shape into a coffin nail opposed to using the regular tips and just shaping them. It cuts out the process in half and it gets the look um, and achieves it in quicker time. Okay y'all, if you have ever cut or used these magnet tips, then you know how it can be a little difficult, um, especially when you have tips on trying to work like this. So I probably should have set that up prior to putting my tips on, but lesson learned. Um, Lord, y'all, it was a struggle. Every magnet, every metal piece wanted to connect to each other. So once I found the tips, I started off with this and cut all the nails and then I checked them out to see if that was long enough or at my liking and then I took two pieces off at a time and then just cut again and just eyeballed it and kept it going. All right, so in this step, I'm using my file and I'm just filing on the sides of my nail just to make sure they line up with the nail tips. And here I'm going in with my buffer and I'm just buffing out the nail to get that shine off. Makes it easy for my acrylic to adhere to the nail as well as I'm buffing out that harsh line from where my tip and my actual nail connects. Here, I'm just going back in with my file and I also use this as an extra step. I just like to make this as seamless as possible and try to make sure that you don't even notice where the tip begins. And I buff those out and that's how it looks. And I'm trying new uh, acrylic today. So this is New Lux, the clear and the milky white. I purchased these from my local nail supply store and um, I'm hoping that these achieve the look that I desire and it actually did so I don't even know why I'm saying hope but these are the flowers I purchased these also from my local nail supply store and I'm going with my handy dandy good old faithful Mia secret nail prep and then after the nail prep I'm going in with the bonder I do one nail at a time and one hand at a time so I know sometimes some people may like do all their nails prep and bond but I'm not going to do that because I find that it dries out too quick and when it's time for me to put the acrylic on like my other hand the acrylic doesn't adhere as well as it does on the opposite hand so I only do one hand at a time just to make sure that the application is seamless as possible. So I also purchased this gold uh, clips as well. I forgot that I even had it so that's why I showed it like like randomly but I'm gonna use it as well on my thumb and my pinky fingers those are gonna be just the milky white and the um, gold and I don't show me doing that process because I feel like this the purpose of this video is really to see me try to encapsulate encapsulate these flowers so it was a little struggle and honestly it wasn't until I got to my uh, ring finger and my opposite hand is when I realized I did it all backwards so originally when I'm doing this, I'm applying my acrylic, clear acrylic, Lord y'all if I can talk, my clear acrylic and then I'm putting the flower on top of that when ultimately I should have been applying the milky white first, putting the flower on top of that and then encapsulating it with the clear acrylic. But you'll see at the end that my um, left hand, my um, index finger, middle, and the, those are the two that... I realized I did those wrong and then the other ones they got better so 
in this step, you'll just see me applying the acrylic, clear acrylic. It's like I can't talk, y'all. Clear acrylic, and then I'm putting the flowers on top. In previous videos that I watched before I did this, I've seen other um, nail artists state that they um, cut the, the flower to their liking or how they want it to be on a nail. And I realized that after I did, like, I think it was the first or the second nail, that I should have done that as well. So I'm going in now with the milky, the milky white, and I'm just putting that on top of the nail. And this is when I, like, I think I realized it, but I just kept going. I said, maybe, like, it's just the color. I don't know what I thought. Because you don't even see, like, my actual nail that there's other flowers in certain areas because the milky white or milky way, whatever you call it, covers the flower. So I really didn't. I really wish I would have recorded the other hand or the um, other nails, but you'll see the end result. It did turn out correct, but I just wanted to tell you and share that with you guys as well. So that way, if anybody's watching, if anybody's watching this video and are trying to duplicate or replicate that look, definitely use the Milky Way first, then apply the flower and use the clear on top. But I'm gonna let y'all watch the rest of these steps and see how I achieve this look. Y'all, I'm so sorry that the quality of the camera is not at the best. Like, I realized as I was editing, like, this should have been closer up. I should have positioned the camera this way or that way. But sometimes you don't learn until after the fact. And I am just wanted to get this content out because I still feel like it was a good video that gave you good information. So I do apologize about that. But I hope you guys overall did enjoy this video. And if you did and made it this far in the video, please hit that like button comment down below what you like what you enjoy if you've done it before what was your experience and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so hit that notification bell so you're not missing any uploads and as always guys stay true and stay you and i'll see you guys in the next video